Hello, Tom Levecki here with a special edition of the New Theory Podcast in collaboration with the Armchair NBA. So, finally came in my Michael Francis bottles. I'm going to do a quick review of the Malbec by Michael Francis, and uh, I'm really excited to try this out. I've been looking at it for a while online. I see Michael promote. I've spoken to Michael briefly about it. Um, and really excited to try it out. I did not call Michael beforehand. I'm going to send this to him afterwards. I don't want to be unduly influenced, nor would he do that to me anyway. So let me begin. So just like any standard tasting, I'm going to do it on a five-point scale. I'm going to look at, oops, sorry, wrong button. I'm going to look at the appearance, aroma, taste, and aftertaste. And then I'll come up with a total score out of five. Now, um, Typically, I look at wines in three categories. I look at everyday wine. You're blocking and tackling wine with pizza, Chinese food, uh, open up during the week or Friday night, uh, uh, date night, uh, at your BYOB, or even on a Sunday while you're watching a football game when you're not drinking beer or a hard seltzer. Uh, the other one is gifts. Um, is this good for giving a gift to somebody? Um, you know, does it have value to it? Does, it, does the value of it? It kind of exceed what you paid for. And then lastly, um, I also look at special occasions that open that bottle night, the first birthday, the 25th anniversary, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do a review of appearance, aroma, taste, and aftertaste. And then I'll kind of talk about where it fits in uh, in that spectrum. So again, this bottle, love the brand. I uh, love how they put it together, like really tight. You can tell it's very freshly done. Um, so first we'll talk about the grape. The grape or the uh, varietal that I ordered was a Malbec. So now Malbec originally comes from uh, France, and forgive my pronunciation, the Cahors region. Um, the Cahors region is known for Malbec. That's kind of where it originated. But if you're a wine drinker and you drink Malbec, especially in the United States, uh, nine out of ten times, Argentina is going to be in the discussion. So that's why I was particularly interested in the fact that he sourced this from Armenia. Yes, from Armenia, not from Italy, not from France. Um, you know, not from Long Island, you know, not from, um, you know, South America, other regions, Chile, etc. cetera, sourced from Armenia. So that's why I was really excited to try this, a Malbec varietal or Malbec grape uh, with, um, um, with Armenian roots. So let's try this out. Okay, so I poured a glass. I want it to breathe a little bit. So first we're going to go through appearance. Uh, it's a nice deep body red, as you would expect, uh, not to get too fancy. It does have some legs. I'm not a big believer in legs. It's kind of like what the residuals kind of set, uh, the sediment that comes down on the side of the glass. So appearance, I like it. It's it's true to its color. It's not too dark, not too red, and it's not too um, too light. From all back appearance, I'll give it a four. Okay, now the aroma. I want to, it's got the cool thing too is it actually gives you when it was bottled and this was bottled on November 8th 2021 mob backs you can drink young they don't really need to age so it's not a big thing um, but I do like the fact that it shows you when it's bottled but the cool thing about mob backs it'll actually hang out for a while okay all right so I get from it a little acidity tannins I find it to be a little velvety uh kind of raspberry ish uh to it so the aromas i like i like it's not a strong bouquet does it jump at you but aroma gives it a four now the taste okay so let me try it again you taste the tannins that you get from the uh the smell or for the aroma, it, it has a little bit of a pop to it. So when it opens up, I like that. Um, what would you pair this with? I would pair this with a steak. I would pair this with a heavy pasta. Anytime you have any marinara sauce, any red sauce, um, I would pair this with, uh, but it's light, it's weird. It's light enough where you can enjoy it with like a lobster. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as sushi, but maybe if you have a lobster, like a surf and turf, this rolls with it. But in terms of taste, I'm going to go ahead and give it a four. Where it exceptionally exceeds is the aftertaste. 
The aftertaste, it's really smooth, especially considering its start and its tannins. Um, so let's just do a quick review. Um, so first, appearance, I give it a four. Aroma, I give it a four. Taste, I give it a hard four. Aftertaste, I give it a five. Um, so kind of adding them up adds to what 12 17 so let's just call it a 4.3 out of five now where do you kind of position this so i uh live in new jersey and and i don't know if they ship to new jersey please go to the site they said they do from the site it didn't look like it when i was trying to uh send it out so I actually went through Wine Searcher, so I paid a little more. So I paid 30 bucks per bottle. I also paid for shipping. So for an everyday wine, if you had to pay that price, it's a little high, to be candid, for an everyday wine. But if you go to FranciseWines.com, it sells for, um, I think, $24.99. And if you buy a few bottles, they have free shipping. And if you join to their kind of email club uh, or their email list, you get as much as 10%. I've seen as much as 35% off. So sign up on their email list, get the email in, buy a few bottles at 22 bucks. I could rock with this on an everyday basis. So definitely is good for an everyday wine. Now, as a gift, I like this for a gift for people that are in our space, that are uh, mobologists, that love mob history, that like business, that like politics, especially those that know Mike. Um, I think this is a fantastic gift. If you give somebody... Uh, a bottle of this and you spend 25 bucks for it the, especially if they're a mike fan or know of the mob and that kind of stuff or they know nothing about it but it's a great uh story piece because of its provenance you can tell the mike story and that kind of stuff i used to make even though was a week and now as a wine guy so definitely 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 nails it as a gift and as a special occasion the question is is it good enough to be that special occasion wine and in my opinion it is why it tastes good. Um, uh, you know, you don't want to maybe have this sit around for 10 years. Um, mob actually be drink, should be drunk, in my opinion, kind of young or younger. Um, and how does this comp uh, compare to an Argentinian Malbach? Fairly consistent. I've never really had an Armenian wine as far as I know. Um, so the bottom line is I do recommend this wine. I give it a 4.2 out of 5. And again, just to rehash, Appearance four, aroma four, taste four, aftertaste five. And again, we'll definitely, definitely be buying more of these and keep it in my regular uh, uh, collection. So go to FranciseWines.com. I'll put a link below. I'll send this over to Mike's people. Maybe they'll give me a coupon code to give to our crew and uh, definitely recommend this. And Mike Francis, congratulations and good job. Again, if it was a poor review, I would give it. I have no problem. Um, I really like it, and I can see this being uh, part of my rotation. Till next time, again, check out Francis Wine.